does your dog burst out the door ahead of you or do they wait patiently until you give them permission to go out the door. Hi everyone, I'm Joyce Diamond, Diamond Dog Training, where we give you positive, effective training tips to help you train your dog. Wait is such an important word. Every dog, every puppy should learn wait. So they freeze, stop on a dime when you say wait and they're listening for another command. So, in this video, we're going to go on with the wait playlist. You can check above for the wait playlist where we taught your dog wait, where your dog learned to wait for their dinner, where your dog learned to wait on the stairs and to walk down the stairs behind you. So, in this video, Nikki and BB are going to learn to wait as they go out through the front door and until they get permission to follow me. Remember, wait is different than stay. Stay is when you don't want them to proceed any further. You can check the stay video to see the difference between wait and stay. So come along and let's see Nikki learn how to wait at the front door with Nikki at the door. Now there are different ways to teach wait. You want her to freeze, you want her not to move. So you could hold on to the leash and when she went to go out through the door, just hold back on it and you could get your way out the door, come back and feed her. But I like to teach it in a way that my dog wants to, wants to wait until I have released them. So we're gonna take this off. Hi, Nick Nack. Good girl. And we're gonna take the harness off too. If your dog normally wears a harness all the time, then of course this harness would stay on. Good girl. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on weight in a way that Nikki understands it's pleasant for her to wait. Nick, nick, good girl, good girl. So I'm gonna tell her, wait, just like we did in that first video. And I'm gonna feed her, okay? I'm using the homemade treats. This time they're tuna fish. So if you want to know how to make the homemade treats, go to the link above and uh, they're chicken treats, but I substituted tuna fish this time and Nikki thinks they're very good. So I'm gonna tell her, wait, that means freeze, don't move. I'm going to click and I'm going to reward her. Now, I propped the door open just so you can see me. What I could have done was held the door open, told her wait, took a step outside, but this is easier. So my goal is to get all the way outside and then I'm going to release Nikki to come to me. All right. Remember, wait is always followed by another command. Wait. I'm going to reward her again. I haven't even moved yet. I want her to know that wait means freeze before I decide that I'm gonna move, right? And remember, when you move, just like when we were teaching wait in that first video, we slide to the side. So we're gonna tell her wait, she hasn't moved, and I'm gonna reward her, okay? And I'm gonna tell her wait, and I'm gonna take half a step, and then I will come back. Doing a mouth click, and I'm gonna reward her and I'm going to do it again. Wait, and I'm going to slide down. When do I click? When I'm back inside and I am beside Nikki. Okay. So wait means freeze, don't move until you're given another command. Whether it is wait until I toss the ball, wait until I look both ways to make sure there's no one coming crossing the street, wait till you get your food bowl, wait till you come down the steps behind me, all those are wait. Okay, wait, and I'm gonna take a step, a full step, and I'm going to go back, and I'm going to reward her. So she knows when she hears the click that actually the exercise is over, so she can get up and move around, but now I'm gonna start it again. Wait, I'm gonna take another step, and I'm gonna return back to her, and I'm gonna reward her. So what she's doing is, she is staying very close to me. She hasn't gone out through the threshold. Wait, 
Going to go a little further. And remember, weight means that she's going to be released. So I'm going to say to her, let's go. And Nikki can come out, right? So what we're looking for is that Nikki understands, or your dog understands, that when you say wait, it's freeze. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna tell her wait, and we're gonna come out. We're gonna check, make sure there's no skunk out here. And then we're gonna tell her, let's go. And we're gonna reward her, okay? Now, if I don't click, what happens is, I don't need to feed her. The click is a bargain I make with my dog that I owe them a treat. Let's say that the wait, the reward is to come outside. So what you're going to do is, you're gonna to walk to the door with your dog and the door is gonna be closed. You're gonna walk to the door, you're gonna say wait, and the reward is to go out. Wait, let's go. And we're gonna let her out, okay? So now she can come out and play. She can come out and um, play in the yard. Good girl. So, so this is wait. Wait at the door, wait for your food. I use wait all the time. Remember, stay means don't move, don't follow me. Wait means pause for a moment, freeze, and then something's gonna happen. Whether you throw the ball, or any of the other things we talked about. So I hope you enjoyed this video from Diamond Dog Training. Please consider subscribing to my channel and ring that little notification bell. You get all the exercise, so that you get all the episodes. And thank you for liking my Facebook page. We will be working more with Boomer in the coming weeks as we see how his dog Reactivity is progressing. Also, we will have a new series coming up on puppy biting. So, thank you from Diamond Dog Training, from Joyce and from Nikki. Bye-bye.